In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily automate tempo changes within Ableton Live Arrangement View. This is gonna come in handy when you're building full set lists of songs within a single Ableton project, and you want the tempo of Ableton Live's metronome to automatically change to the tempo of an individual song. This video is brought to you by Lead Worship with Ableton, an online course that's gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to use Ableton Live to run a click, backing tracks, and automate lyrics and lighting in worship. Click the link in the description to learn more. Now let's dive into the training. So here I have an Ableton Live project that contains a complete set list of four worship songs. This is a standard amount of songs you would see in a worship gathering, and I prefer setting songs up in arrangement view like what you see here because there's just so much more customization that can happen when you're using arrangement view. You can create some great transitions. I think it makes it a lot easier also when you're setting up MIDI cues like for pro presenter or automating any other production elements in worship. And one thing about assembling a full set list of songs in arrangement view is you want to be able to change Ableton Live's metronome as the playhead advances through the different songs. And that's where the role of the tempo clip comes in. The technically proper way to go about doing this is to enable automation in Ableton Live Arrangement View and then go down here under the master track and you're going to select um, song tempo right here. And I actually can't do it because of the way I have it set up with these tempo clips. But technically, if you wanted to, you could go through this track right here and set automation points. But that can be kind of labor intensive. I prefer the way I'm about to show you how to do this with tempo clips because it just makes your workflow much more efficient. You're going to drag in these individual song sessions and automatically Ableton's going to know where it needs to change the tempos based on these clips up here. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to zoom in here to the first song. Notice that I have a track called Tempo Clips. This is an audio track and then it contains these blank audio files that I'm calling the Tempo Clips. And these Tempo Clips, when I double click on them, and down here for this clip, you're going to see that warp is enabled and so is the master button. So that means when the playhead hits this audio clip, it's going to change the master tempo of Ableton Live to the proper tempo of the song. So watch what happens. I'm going to start the playhead here where there's no tempo clip and look at the BPM. It goes to 120 because that's the default uh, beats per minute tempo of the song. And then when it hits the tempo clip... One it changed two, to 115 one, so you could hear two, the metronome three, change its tempo. So whenever I build my individual song sessions in Ableton Live, each of them get this blank audio clip that sets the master tempo. All I have to do when I'm building an individual song is navigate to my templates folders that I have and I have this project called the tempo project and in this tempo project I created that blank audio file called my tempo clip and all I do is drag it onto the timeline onto the tempo clip track. So setting this up is really simple. You're going to drop in the audio file into the individual song session, and then you're just going to drag that audio file out till it covers the whole length of the song. You're going to save your individual song session, and then you can go ahead and start dragging sessions into a complete set list like what you see here. And then you can do some interesting things with these tempo clips when it comes to transitions in worship. Watch what happens when we get to the end of You Are Life here. Ending. So I have my pads fading in here. And then the tempo changed to 68 beats per minute. And then I have this section here that's just going to loop. So when it hits this repeat cue right here, it's going to loop back to here and we just have looping pad and click. This can be great if you're wanting to just have that free flow moment in worship. And what's cool is that all I have here is the pad and the tempo clip, which is setting the tempo of Ableton Live's metronome. And I actually set this tempo to the tempo of the next song. So then when I queue up the beginning of this next song, it's going to go ahead and the next downbeat, it's going to start off that song. Two, Turn on three, the guide cue for you. Four. 
And just to show you a little bit more of how this works, I'm going to go over here uh, to the end of this set list. And let's pretend that when we get done this song, I want to have the click automatically change to a different tempo. Right here, it's at 70 beats per minute. So let's say I wanted to change the tempo at the end of this song uh, to 90 beats per minute. So I'm going to go ahead and just select my tempo clip right here drag it in I'm gonna extend it however far it needs to go and this is gonna create a looping section of click and pads and then I can select the right tempo so I'm gonna make sure I have this tempo clip selected and I'm gonna view the details and settings down here in clip view and then I'm gonna to toggle on the master button right here that's gonna make this clip set the master tempo of Ableton Live and then I'm gonna change my BPM to 90 and sometimes I like to toggle that one more time just to make sure it actually enables those changes right there. So watch what happens when the playhead hits this clip. This changes to 90 now. And now I have a looping pads and click section at 90 beats per minute. So if you want to start using the tempo clips to automate tempo changes in your Ableton Live set, as well as to just make sure each of your individual songs has that master tempo assigned to them, you can download my free tempo project. It's linked below this video in the description. So go ahead, click that link, complete the form, and I'll send you this free tempo project. Well, that wraps up the lead worship with Ableton quick tip I have for you today. If you are serious about implementing Ableton Live in your worship ministry, I want to invite you to check out my online course, Lead Worship with Ableton. It's linked below in the description. This training is going to walk you through click by click, step by step, how to use Ableton Live to run a click, tracks, and automate lighting and lyrics and worship. It's also packed with a bunch of time-saving tips that are going to save you a bunch of headaches as you use Ableton Live on a week-to-week -week basis in your ministry. If you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and share it with your friends who use Ableton. You can check out some other Ableton Live videos right over here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.